Today marks the one-year anniversary of the murders at the Azana Salon in Brookfield. A gunman went on a shooting spree, killing his wife and two other women. Radcliffe Houghton killed Zena Daniel, Malin Lind, and Carrie Roebuck before then killing himself. A vigil for those victims about to get started in Milwaukee. Michelle Fiore is there live tonight. Michelle. Mike and Courtney, they are just starting to trickle in now for this vigil that's expected to begin at 5.30. Earlier today, a group that included Zena's brother held a rally calling for universal background checks. He wonders whether that could have saved his sister's life. Life will never be the same for the families of Zena, Maylin, and Carrie. Can't believe it's already been a year, yeah, today. How are your parents doing? Uh, not doing well. It's not, it's, it's very, I mean, my dad lost his baby daughter. Zena's family doesn't call her Zena Houghton anymore. They'd like her to be known as Zena Daniel. They wonder whether she might be alive today if universal background checks were required. So I asked Congress how many more killings before we decide that a background check needs to be done on all gun sales. Daniel joined those touched by gun violence outside the offices of Senator Ron Johnson today. Daniel was given more than a thousand letters from supporters hoping to change the law. In the past year, abusers with guns have taken from us in Wisconsin. Mothers, hairstylists, and cops walking the beat. Amy Sice is a former client of Azana who felt she needed to be at today's rally. When it happened in the news, I'm visualizing where I would have been and getting a massage, you know, upstairs. It's terrifying to think. Senator Johnson's press secretary commented after today's rally, thanking the group for calling attention to the problem of violence against women, but stopped short of giving an opinion on those universal background checks. We're live tonight at Milwaukee City Hall. Michelle Fiore, today's TMJ4. Three families still in so much pain. Michelle, thank you. Azana Spa closed for the day today to honor the victims. It's closed on this grim anniversary, but outside the doors you will find yellow flowers, which the owner said represented friendship and the promise of new beginnings. Management had no further comment. Brown Deer Police also had no comment. 